guys. So for this look, um, as you guys can see, a lot of things have changed. But anyways, for this look, I decided I'm going to do a Monster High themed uh, type tutorials. Originally, I had this huge plan. I was going to do faces and makeup and yeah, I would need wigs and contacts and I know that gets expensive quite fast. For this look, um, I decided to start with Abby. She is one of the main seven ghoul friends, which is what I'll be doing. Real quick, uh, I, I know you guys noticed that I'm not blonde anymore, that I've changed. I have reasons for that. Less processing of the hair. I don't look like I have a failed attempt at an ombre anymore because I end up procrastinating what I'm doing when it comes to my hair. As you guys can see, I've also rearranged our room. We're not in the same space that we used to be in. I'm getting ready to have a lot of main major changes go on with this room. I'm really excited about it. So yeah, um, I do plan on, like I said, doing the main school friends. So hopefully it will not be like a month before I film another video. I really do enjoy doing them for you guys. I know that I've been slacking, but as you guys can see, I've got a lot of stuff that I've got going on. I'm trying to stay here with you guys. And but yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, feel free to like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, pull that picture up. Who's crazy? Katie. No. Yeah. This is how she's supposed to look. This is Abby, by the way. This is the main, one of the main seven ghoul friends. She didn't do the things because she had nothing to do it with. She did a simple, basic look. Kind of what they're wearing and... How their style is. Like I said, I wanted to originally do a lot based with them, but, you know... <laughs> Stop it. But this is Abby. She she lives. Where does she live? Does she live in the Arctic? Yeah. Um. And what what does she do? She talk funny. Yeah. Who is she a daughter of? Not really sure. The abominable snowman. Her name is Abby. Abominable. But I think that they're all really cute. Anyways, um, she's the first one. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a whole series based on them. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy this look. We're gonna get started with our two face shadow insurance. Make sure you go all around your eye because we will be putting some underneath. Oh, okay. Next, we're going to use our NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. We're going to place that all over the lid and bring it up some in that crease. And then right along the lash line there. This way that blue has something to stick to. And we're just going to take our finger and smooth it all out. First, we're gonna take a like pencil brush, ang angle brush, blah, 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 blah. pencil brush, angle brush, whatever. We're just take this brush right here, this one. We're gonna take this color pink. You know, pack your brush and make sure you tap away the extra, and place that right on your crease. And we're gonna blend it up. Make sure you bring it all the way in, as if you're gonna do a cut crease with it. Make sure you blend this up. What are you talking about? Is it the same? What are you <clears throat> You're not going to see that in it because I'm just going to zoom into my, my eye. Here. <laughs> I look like an alien. Then you're just going to take like a blending brush or something, just a giant fluffy brush. <laughs> and we're going to take this color. <sighs> it smells so like good. And just do a little bit and tap it away. And place that right up underneath your brow. Since our monster is naturally blue, we need a lighter blue for our highlights. Now we're going to take like a smudger brush. This blue. We're going to take that smudger brush and we're going to place it right up underneath the lash line. Make sure you pack it in first. Even though we plan on exaggerating... Uh, this blue farther down than we normally would smudge stuff. We still don't want a whole lot of fallout. Now we're just going to take a flat paddle brush and we're going to use this purple. And we're going to do the same thing and just pack it onto the top of that white base on the lid and bring it up to that pink. Make sure you blend the two together if you need to. Take a clean blending brush and take that pink and just go right along the edge to help 
make that transition between the two colors. <laughs> we're going to take that same purple color and the same paddle brush and we're just going to use the edge of that and place that along the lower lash line. You always seem to, to see on all of the monsters uh, their main lid color smudged up underneath their eye. And then we're going to take that NYX Jimbo Eye Pencil again and place that on the lower waterline. You don't need a whole lot because we're still gonna like blend it out with our finger. And we're just gonna take like a round tip brush. It doesn't really matter what kind of round tip brush or what kind of brush you use. And we're just gonna take like a white, the lightest color in this palette, or something a little bit lighter to make our eyes look a little bit bigger, and pack it right on top of that white base. Oops, we're going to take that same round tip brush that we just used on that and this color white and do our inner corner highlight. That noise you hear in the background is Katie. She's playing a game. She's actually playing a Monster High game. How disturbing is this? <laughs> what does disturbing mean? Gross. I Scared. fixed a little bit of it, Yeah, and that's actually after she's done some work on her teeth. Katie wanted me to show you. This is her teeth at the beginning. It's disgusting. Then we're going to take our Maybelline Master Studio Drama Eye Studio Drama whatever gel liner this is. And we're going to take an angle brush, as you can tell. It's already been used. And we're going to go ahead and line our lash line. Do our liner. You're gonna take the same thing and do your lower uh, lash line. Make sure you don't go up over your lashes. You want to stay right there at the lash line. And go a little bit down and smudge it out. Make sure you bring this. Her teeth are brown. In. Make sure you bring your eyeliner in uh, closer to your tear duct. Give her a hat. And help make your eye eyes look uh, naturally bigger than what they really are. And then we're going to take our CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara and do our lashes. We're going to do two different coats on it. So go ahead and do your first coat. And when you're doing your lashes, make sure you go from the root to the tip. And that will help a lot too. Um, you can use baby powder, you could use a finishing powder, face powder, whatever. Um, I like to use like a white eyeshadow um, and just place it along the edges so this way I can actually see what I'm doing. It helps give extra length and a little bit of volume to your lashes when you do this as well. And then go ahead and apply your second coat. And that's it for our eyes. And now on to the rest of the face. We're going to take our Revlon uh, Photo Ready Bronzer. If I can get it open. Next we're going to take our CoverGirl Classic Color Ice Plum. What are you doing now? My cheeks. I'm putting on blush. Alright, so since Abby lives in um, the, ice cold land. the ice cold land, as my helper says, I was going to say Arctic, but you know. Oh, she's from the ice cold land, but lives in the Arctic. Okay, we're going to do a series of Here. dots, just as she has them, um, as our highlight. I'm actually using something that's really old. It's Sugar Coated by Coolfax Maybelline, if I can get it out. And we're just going to dot our face as she has hers. Doesn't help that this is almost dead. How does makeup die? Um, it's almost empty. <clears throat> we're also going to do this along our nose, the center of it. Alright, because this it. color, is, this thing is not going to do what I need it to do, we're going to blend it out like a, our highlight. 
I'm going to take the round tip brush. Sealed for your protection. Protect. Why would you do this? Sealed for your protection. You're getting ready to use glitter. Why? I don't understand. <laughs> My protection against what? Just take like a mixing medium or water or anything to damp your brush up. Oh, and you're putting it sparkly now. Yeah. All right, because her lips are ridiculously uh, bubblegum pink, I don't have a bubblegum pink um, lip liner, but we're going to use a Jordana lip liner in Honey Dip. Okay, that is like... It's <laughs> a neutral color. Let me do my thing, little girl. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and line our lips. Make sure you fill them in, too. Then we're going to take our NYX, uh, what is it, just NYX Lip Smacking Fun Colors in Rose, which is really pink. We're going to place it on top of that, that color, uh, the lip liner. And then we're going to use this, I think it went, was like by L'Oreal, it's a yeah, L'Oreal Lip Gloss, it's a brilliant something in a mauve, I, I apologize, because I don't remember the name, I'm going to place that right on top, just put it right in the center, just to give it a gloss, and it's about as bubblegum pink as I'm going to get, because uh, anything else will look really ridiculous on me, but yeah. But that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, bye. You want to say bye? Bye-bye.